This is a follow-up video from my previous Sinclair Spectrum repair video. What I've decided to do is I want the black keys back in this machine. Um, the keyboard that wasn't working, I've just taken apart and taken the membrane out. The one I showed you with the jagged ribbon there. Looks like somebody's attacked it with a punch. But I didn't move that. All I have to do is press all the tabs to get the back off. Some of them are stiff, but eventually got it off. Now what I'm going to do is open up this machine again. And I'm going to take the keyboard out and put the membrane in this keyboard and put it back in the machine. Okay, I've got the machine open and I only pulled it off slightly because I don't want to rip anything. I've tilted it on the side and I'm just going to slide my hand in there and pull out the ribbons and the power pins. Well, I think that's power, yeah, for the tape. I'm going to slide my hand in there. Oh, I forgot to mention the grey spectrum. I found out why it had a rolling picture. As you probably read the description in my previous vi vi video, I put an update in the description that it was actually a power problem calling a, causing a rolling picture. I grabbed um, an adapter off a games console and um, plugged it in the jack power jack connection there and I had a perfect picture on the TV the, the Sinclair Spectrum menu come up and it wasn't rolling um, it's just a shame about the case um, I'm sure I can work around that and I'm just gonna get the keyboard out of this and get it apart first and put the membrane in it Okay, I've got the two parts separated now. All I have to do now is get out some silver screws there and the keyboard will come out. Then I've got to push in all these tabs and the metal will come off the back and it should be simple. A swim, simple swap. Okay, I've got the keyboard removed. I am now going to take the back off it and then put the membrane in this keyboard and then put it back in the machine okay I've just got this grey keyboard open and I'm going to put the membrane into the black keyboard and then put it back in the machine I'm going to hit pause a sec so okay I've turned the keyboard upside down and all I simply got to do is pull this up it's probably going to be dusty underneath, so I'm going to wipe all that away before I settle it down in the new case. Look at all that dust. Okay, I was fiddling around you. Vages, I had another brain fart. I put the thing in the wrong bloody way. But it's in the right way now. So you can see... And if you notice, the ribbons on you are smaller, like I said in the previous video. Look at the difference in size. But they still fit into these larger slots, which I'll show you in a moment. Right, I'm going to put this keyboard back together now. Okay, I've put the back on the keyboard. Sometimes you'll have to go put your thumb near each tab and give it a push until you hear it click into place. I have to go around sort of doing that. And I've got a few tiny screws there I have to put on this metal back before I put it in the case. Okie doke. I've got the keyboard screwed back in. 
just making sure it's in line, not loose, and they're nice and tight. Now these rib bands, this is how I done it before. Although they're too small, the keyboard still works. Sure, they're in tight. Can you see that? I'm going to close up this machine and fire it up to make sure everything's okay. I made a tiny mistake. I put a screw in there and it shouldn't be in there because the K screw goes straight through so I'm just going to get that out because the case won't bloody close properly so and those tiny little screws are going to the metal. I didn't bother putting them back in just because it's a different membrane I don't want to risk it going through the ribbon so Grab that with my fingers to get it out. Okay, got it out. Right, good to go. I'm going to test the keyboard out. Um, the cabin's on the floor a minute because I have to walk over and plug the Sinclair Spectrum with that. Because there's no on off switch on the machine. <clears throat> I, I moved the old one out of the way because I wanted the keyboard to be a bit closer to the T. I'm going to click the up and down cursor and as you can see the repair, the repair went well. I'll just um, go to the basic now and type my name. I'm happy with that. Um, battery's running out of my camera now, so I'm gonna have to cut this short. You will probably see more videos popping up on my channel when I um, fiddle around with other retro computers. But for now, thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye bye.